Well, happy Sunday. It's Sunday already, and I'm making breakfast. Some Mexican chorizo. And I'm gonna try what everybody's been talking about recently, like on every mess mm. group. The shuffles. I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> uh. Shaffles, shuffles. I don't know. I'm gonna try it though. Um, I'm just doing an egg version because I was gonna do like different, like a different type of one, but hungry, so I'm gonna try one and see how it comes out. So I'll let you know. The way that I've seen these made is just with egg and cheese. I've seen a lot of different variations, but like I said, I'm just doing the egg and cheese ones today since it's my first time. I think it's kind of similar. I really shouldn't say it's my first time because I've made a zucchini one and I've made, I've never made one just out of eggs. So anyway, <laughs> and some cheese, I'm not sure how much, I guess that's about half a cup and I'm going to stir it together very well. I did spray my waffle iron with some, I think it was olive oil spray. I'm not sure. So that's my egg and cheese mixture. Don't stick. Do not stick. And don't overflow, bro. Spread it evenly, close the baby, and let her cook. Another breakfast. Gotta break all this chorizo up. So, it kind of came out, I guess, too much in there, but it's saying it's ready. Bam. So far, no stickage. <laughs> no sticking. Oh. Well, I guess that was the piece I was meant to try. I guess if you're going for like the waffle thing, you could do like some syrup, but I mean, this is just egg and cheese, so I'm pretty sure it's just gonna taste like egg and cheese. It smells like burned egg and cheese, which is not my favorite smell. Mmm. 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 Okay. I'm pleasantly surprised. I guess if you add a little sweetener, it could be a waffle. Very good. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Or tell me how you do yours. Okay. I have the baby some avocado, banana. I'm just waiting for the eggs to be done. Still have the chorizo going, so it's just about done. I'm gonna add the egg, and then we can have some breakfast. Again, sir. Uh, That's a little warm, but you can have this as avocado right here. But well, their breakfast is almost done. Okay, not the best presentation, but I got me some eggs and sausage, some avocado, a little bit of cheese. Shuffle. Good. It was good, right? What did you think about your breakfast? Oh, it's gone. Wow. He had banana, avocado, and some shuffle too. And hers, she's having some low-carb torts and avocado. Hey eat. guys, I had to come to Walmart to get a few things. Um, paper plates, detergent, napkins, <laughs> can't forget that. Then my little one fell asleep, so I'm just letting him get a little bit more in, because I literally live like five minutes away, and he fell asleep like right when I left my neighborhood. <sighs> kind of getting into a funk again, I'm not going to lie, but I'm trying to fight through it. <laughs> the smallest things get me down. <laughs> but anyway breakfast was awesome this morning and the time with my little kiddos that was awesome so now I'm gonna go get this out of the way because I still have a little two loads I guess of towels to wash and then I'm gonna see where the day takes me I'm trying to like make some uh, almond shortbread cookies today with almond flour I don't know the recipe looks really good I'll if I make it I'll show you and then I'm gonna try to put the recipe up too <laughs> all right let's go to the store probably in a few minutes when this kid wakes up okay. so I'm just 
uh, trying to prep an early dinner and I'm gonna do spaghetti squash. So right now I have my oven preheating to 400. I'm gonna slice these in half long ways. Spray them with a little olive, olive oil, salt and pepper, face down for like 30 to 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna let this thaw, ground chicken. I've never made this before, but I was like, I have ground chicken and I need to use these squashes before they go bad. So I'm gonna do like a chicken Alfredo with ground chicken, which is different. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna have. Seeds are out, they're halved. I'm gonna sprinkle them with some pink salt and some pepper. Here we go. And then I already sprayed them with some olive oil. Flip them over. Try to make it a bit. And we're gonna punch some holes. It's a good way to let your anger out. Okay. Punched, and we're just waiting for the oven to hit 400. We're gonna pop them in. Finally hit 400. I'm gonna let it go for 45 minutes. We'll see. I'm gonna check it at 30 just to see the consistency. Look what I got at Walmart, guys. They had these bottles on sale for 99 cents. They are plastic, but my kids love to just drink water out of water bottles, and good deal. Okay, just wanted to share that. <laughs> okay, so the rest of the calls for room temperature butter, cream cheese, almond flour, coconut flour, erythritol. It calls for almond extract and sliced almonds, both of which I know I have, but I don't know where the heck they went. So I'm just gonna use vanilla, and we're just gonna make regular shortbread cookies with no almond extract, so. Let's get to doing it. Seeing one cup of almond flour and one fourth cup of coconut flour. We're gonna mix these together very, very well. If you've ever worked with coconut flour, you know it really dries up a recipe. So these are shortbread cookies, so I guess that does make sense. So just get in there, um, get all the big lumps out basically. So I'm gonna cream the um, stick of butter at room temperature with one half cup erythritol until nice and creamy and fluffy. Okay, so now you can see that it's like um, nice and creamy, the butter. See that? Butter and um, erythritol. And I added two ounces of cream cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to beat this. There it is all beaten up. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and crack in one egg and some vanilla since we're not, don't have any almond extract. So we're gonna do vanilla, one teaspoon, and one egg. Okay, we're gonna continue blending. and everything all beaten in very well. We're gonna add our flour and we're gonna beat it again. So this is what the consistency right now is looking like for me. Um, this is the step where you would go ahead and fold in, I guess, your almonds if you have almonds that you wanna use. I don't, um, I was thinking about doing chocolate chips, but I'm not. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and wrap okay, this up. So we're gonna put our cookie dough or our um, shortbread dough onto parchment paper. Oh. Wow. That's 
Sean? I thought that was bread. What? <laughs> Spaghetti squash. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. So now we're gonna roll it. I never did this before. But it says to roll into like a log. Okay, we're gonna put it in the fridge for an hour to harden. Done. Perfect. 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 So, we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna shut them up. There is our ground chicken. I defrosted her in the microwave. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. Take out the spaghetti. Isn't it amazing how she looks just like spaghetti? about done almost so I just added Italian seasoning and some pink salt I'm gonna mix this with a little bit of the squash alfredo sauce and some cheese and bake it for a little bit I'm combining my ground chicken my alfredo sauce and spaghetti squash we'll see how this comes out it's my first time don't forget and I'm gonna top with some grated parmesan And some cheese. And you can have spaghetti. Kind of, right, Papa? Spaghetti squash. Okay, so I let them go for like an hour and a half in the fridge, took them out, sliced them up, and baked them at 350 for like 18 minutes or until they got brown. Let's Ready taste the it. recipe. You want to let them cool. So they've been cooling for a bit. No focusing. Guys, they're real soft, so it's not like crunchy like shortbread, but it will do. This will be good with some coffee in the morning. Try them. Hey, my baby, where are you going? Hey, hey, I'd... come back. Uh, it's time for bed now. I'm watching um, 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I can't remember if it's more. Um, yeah, I think it's 90 Day Fiance, not the other way, just the regular one. If you watch it, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, those cookies were so good. I think I had like three. My daughter had some too. I got compl compliments. Even my brother-in-law, who is like totally not keto, he was like, hey, I got one of those uh, breads. And I was like, oh, did you like it? And he was like, it was all right. So that's pretty good. Good, coming from a non-keto person. <laughs> um, well, you guys have a great night. And um, tomorrow's Monday, so a great week. Night.